So this literally is a no risk, all reward scenario. Hey there, welcome to Gander Flight, I'm Joshua. And today I wanna to talk to you about the InCase Pro DSLR backpack. Two, two and a half things I don't like about it and one how to fix. So this InCase Pro DSLR pack has got a laptop, tablet, office sleeve in the front. You flip it over, unzip the back pad and that's where your padded camera compartment is with the removable dividers. Everything's a light gray, so you can see when you've got gear and cables down at the bottom. And overall, I really like it. There's three things that I don't like about it. One of them was a known issue when I bought it after watching other videos on this specific backpack. I knew that the shoulder straps were gonna be kind of short. They fit fine for me. I'm not a big guy, and I only have about three, maybe four inches of tail left on the shoulder straps. So if you are a larger person in the shoulders, in the chest, you may want to look somewhere else and or know that when you get the straps, either they're going to be really tight or that you need to cut them, make them longer, somehow fix the problem because I really wish they would put probably another six, eight inches of webbing on the shoulder straps to allow for just different flexibility and body types. The second thing I don't care for about this backpack is that there's no place to really put a full size notebook. We've got the laptop sleeve, we've got the tablet sleeve, and if you want to slide a notebook in on top of that, sometimes I could, sometimes I could not, depending on how much ge other gear was in the backpack. If it's all empty, I've got a laptop, I can slide a, a notebook in on top of the pen organizer. However, majority of the time I could not. If I had my camera gear in the back, and my laptop and the charging cable up in the front, there really was no room to put a notebook in this backpack. So what I would like to see is just another inch of depth and have a second maybe laptop sleeve, something that you could put a full eight and a half by 11 notebook in there. And with those two out of the way, the third thing we're gonna talk about is the third issue I have, and this is the one that we're actually gonna fix on the backpack. So on the side, they've got these sliding buckles that allow you to put in a tripod. You slide the webbing all the way out, and then you attempt to slide the tripod in one down past the other. The problem is the straps are not long enough to get the holes big enough. However, there's just a better solution all in all, not adding more webbing to the side here at all. And so the fix that I'm gonna to recommend to you and show you how to do today is get a field replaceable buckle. Now these buckles, they have the webbing going in on one side, on the male side, and on the female side, they have a bolt that you unscrew and then you can add it to the webbing on the backpack. Basically what you're gonna do is you're going to remove the webbing from the current buckle on the backpack. You may have to grab some pliers to pull it out. That's gonna be the hardest part is getting the current webbing out from the current slide buckle that's sewn into the backpack. Then you're gonna take this replacement buckle and you're going to unscrew the bolt. You're then gonna put that bolt through the same loop that the other buckle on the backpack is in and tighten it down. Then you're gonna take the loose webbing and slide it through the male end of the buckle. And now we've got a setup where we can lay the tripod on the side of the backpack, clip it into place, and go. You don't have to worry about doing any of the sliding through, tightening down. You literally just undo the buckles, put the tripod on, re-clip the buckles, cinch tight, and away you go. Don't really know why they chose to do the slide buckles on the side. This is definitely intended to be a tripod holder. All they would have had to do is switch the type of buckle that they installed from the factory, but they didn't for whatever reason. So if you are looking at this backpack or you have another backpack that has a tripod holder that does not have snap buckles, definitely look at picking up a field replaceable buckle and adding it to the backpack. Notice, I didn't do anything permanent to this backpack. If you ever wanna take this off, all you have to do is unscrew the female side of the buckle, unthread the male side of the buckle, and put it right back into place. So this literally is a no risk, all reward scenario and a modification to the backpack to make it infinitely more usable in my opinion. And if you're into content curation, you like gear reviews into DIY projects or RV life, make sure you check out the other projects we're doing at Gander Flight. Until next time, again, I'm Joshua. You've been watching Gander Flight. Take care and happy trails.